Here we go. Touch. Yes. Well, Meet touch. Sicario, or Rio for short. He's a three-year-old American Staffordshire cross, and he knows quite a few tricks. <laughs> He's a gorgeous boy. He absolutely loves people. He loves his snacks. He's really great to walk on the lead despite his large size. Um, so we're really hoping that we can find Sicario the right fit. You are very friendly. You're gorgeous. Rio is just one of the dogs here at the RSPCA looking for his forever home after being given up by his previous owner. He was surrendered because his owners were moving and they weren't able to take him. Um, unfortunately, the rental crisis has caused a lot of owners to have to surrender their animals to us. Um, Sicario has been with us for four months now, trying to find his perfect family. <laughs> animal welfare charities right across Australia say this year they've seen more animals like Rio needing a new home. So why might we be seeing an increase in pet surrenders? Um, there's no doubt that a lot of people are struggling with the cost of living and also some people struggle to find rental accommodation which accepts pets. So yes, there have been more people probably wanting to surrender animals. What have I got? 20. 20. 162. 162. 185. 660, but that's how many ages away. Yeah, as you've probably heard, lots of things have become more expensive in the past few years. From houses to petrol to bills and groceries, pet food included. It means that some people have had to make some tough decisions, including giving their furry friends up for adoption. Then there's COVID. For a few years, when we were all in lockdown, lots of people adopted pets. And now the world's opened back up. People's lifestyles have changed. There's definitely uh, fewer adoptions happening at the moment. I think a lot of people have gone back to their usual routines. They maybe don't have the same amount of time to care for an animal. Carolyn says that sometimes people don't realise that looking after a pet isn't just about cuddles. There's grooming, vet bills, training, exercise, food, and it all takes a lot of commitment. But she says for many people, it's well worth it, which is why charities like the RSPCA work with owners to help them keep their pets. And if it still doesn't work out, they try their best to find them the perfect new home. Once we've found out all about that surrendered animal and that animal's come into our care, then our staff work really hard to look at, well, what kind of a home is this animal suited to? And the job of our staff is to make sure that they're going to the best person so that they have a loving and forever home. How many puppies can fit on my lap? But it takes a lot of work. And shelters say an increase in surrenders can make things hard to care for every animal that needs it. But there are things we can do to help. We have lots of ways that people can help us with our work and there's lots of volunteer roles. You have to be over 18 to volunteer here, but there's lots of roles in caring for animals and all sorts of other things you can do. But also there's opportunities to adopt or foster animals. Carolyn says while pets can be a lot of work, they're also pretty great. And if you've got the time and love to give them, then they'll be your friend for life. <laughs>